You gotta really put the screws to them. We don't wanna be out here after dark. I've always wanted to do that my whole life. Probably bigger than me. I'll remember it forever and ever and ever. He's probably thrown in the towel. Gaff him at all costs, Michael. I love it, man, I love it. It was amazing. Dude, you got a stud on. Heck yeah. Nope, I'm not getting in that boat. Ease him up to my Uncle Mike. Oh, dang. I grabbed Oops. The, I grabbed what happened there? Snapped off. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, boy. At least I'm having fun and living my life. Oh, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And we're out here off the coast of Hope Sound in a place called Bex Lake trying to catch mackerel, Spanish mackerel. If you look right over here, these boys, they're commercial fishing. They've got a tub of glass minnows just like this, and they're taking those glass minnows and throwing them right out there just like that. That's getting those fish to come up right behind the boat. Right down there, that's a chum. This is a bag of chum. That's ground up fish, and that's putting scent back behind the boat. And these two boys right here, that's Mike Miller and that's Mariano. They've always wanted to do a catch, clean, and cook with me. And today, we're doing catch, clean, and cook with mackerel. Not a holy mackerel, a Spanish mackerel. Okay, now Mariana, I wanna hear what your technique is. Are you gonna go fast, slow, how are you gonna fish? Fast. Fast. What's your secret? How are you gonna catch him today? Fast. Fast? Here we go. Got him? Get him! Yeah, boy! Watch your legs now. Don't let him bite the... No trip to the hospital today. Uh-oh. We got a little favor, oh, oh, it's a big lady fish. Put him in here, we'll use him for bait. Oh yeah, let's go. Holy smokes, y'all. Okay, so the fish is dead. Oh yeah. Oh, got one. Got him? Got him on, baby. Yeah. You got him? Dang, son, you're on fire. That's right, mister. King. Oh, and here's another one. Spanish. Oh, Spanish mackerel. That's what we're looking for right there. Oh, take a picture of my phone. Yes, son, you got it's your... It's going on Facebook. That's going on Facebook? Darn tootin'. <laughs> nah, yeah, know. buddy. Look at that. That's what he's fishing for. Spanish mackerel. Yeah. Dude, give me your phone. Let's get a picture right now. Going on Facebook, baby. Here, son. Here, get right there in the sunlight, but don't let them bite you. Yeah, they have teeth like a cuda. Dude, look at that. Smile. Point the teeth at me. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's what he, I'm talking about. Let's Teeth keep, it. What was that? Oh, it's a shark. Shark. Dude, do you want to catch the shark? Yes! I've always wanted to do that my whole life! <laughs> Look at the shark right there! Yeah. There's a shark right there. Okay, let's try to catch the shark, y'all. Oh, y'all. Dang. Oh, I got it. Dude, have you ever caught a shark before? Uh, no. Have you always wanted to? I've always wanted to do that my whole life. Yeah? Yeah. He's right under you guys. Yeah. Freaking hold your rod tip down low. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold it down low. Like down that? Down low as you can, yeah. Okay, so our fish is under that boat over there. 
Okay, so we're gonna try to run this fish down and see if we can catch him. I, I think it's a shark, but I don't know what it is. Okay, guys. Okie dokie, guys. You just go easy on them. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. Don't Schwarzenegger the thing in. Yeah. What's that? He is livid. Livid, huh? That shark is livid. Just set the anchor right up there. Just stay right here with me so I see where the fish is. Oh. Woo! Go this way. No, I got a fish on. Stop! No! Oh, pray to God, don't say that. Don't ever say that. Real, real, real. You still feel him? I think so. I think he's coming at us. He's probably thrown in the towel. You think? I think he has. <laughs> this is crazy. So. so that commercial fisherman, I've known him like for my whole life. His name's Ben Hardick. He had no clue we were fighting a fish. He thought we were waving at him. Oh, dude, I think you got... You, you got him on monofilament leader. Mono leader. I think it's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah. You gotta really put the screws to him. We don't wanna be out here after dark. <laughs> so this is just old school deer meat for dinner. No cameraman, just holding a GoPro, holding the cannon, just having fun, man. And you guys are riding shotgun. This is, this is like what I'm all about. Woke up this morning, I was thinking about these two guys. I see them all the time at the bait shop and at Publix, and I thought, you know what, today's the day, let's go fish. And a drop a thumbs up if you would like to be out here fishing with us right now, because this is, this is the best life has to offer. How cool is it that you caught the ladyfish, and then boom, you've got the shark on the ladyfish. It was amazing. It was bloody river. Right. Let's hear your best Arnold Schwarzenegger. We got to do it. Only way to get the pump. And the only way to get the pump is you got to land the shark. <laughs> <laughs> then when I have a picture of it, everybody's going to tell me, Arnold, you're amazing. Arnold, you're fantastic. <laughs> now the crazy thing is we've got him on mono leader, like 50 pound mono leader. Yeah, there was a circle hook, I threw a chunk of bait out there. Next thing you know, we've got him on. Gaff him at all costs, Michael. <laughs> Get the gaff, bro. Snag that. This sucker's coming to the hill. As long as I land this fish, that's what matters. Look at that sunset, boy. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Yeah, it is. Got to do it. Got to get this shark up. Oh, here's the leader. Oh, sugar. Hold on. Got that Suzuki in action, baby. Make them work, make them work, make them work. How big is this thing? Probably bigger than me! <laughs> I call him something like that black thing. I don't know what it was. We're gonna try to lift his head. Oh, he's pulling drag on you. This is a big one, dude. Real big fish. Don't don't high stick it. Don't high stick it. Easy Easy We're gonna just try to we're gonna try to push him right into the current here. So right now I'll use the boat and we're just gonna try to nose him into the current and lift, lift, lift. Man, look at that sunset over there. How beautiful. Oh, the leader's gone now. It's okay, we'll get him, we'll get him. Now, oh, 
Dude, you got a lift on him. He's a heavy fish. Look at that, dude. There, no, no higher than that. You're gonna break the rod. I don't need that tonight, today. Oh, golly, he's pissed. Ah, he just broke it right there. I'm sorry, bud. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, we barely put any drag on him. Oh, we lost him. The key is that fish was just on the bottom. It wasn't moving. I was just trying to basically barely pick his head to move him, but uh, it was a good workout. <laughs> Anytime you catch Spanish mackerel, you need to cook it immediately. Gotta have a sharp knife. Take this right here, go down. There you go. There. Take that filet and there's gonna be some pin bones right here. Dip your knife under that. That's actually Maverick chugging water in the background. Then you can feel they have some pin bones right here. You just gently let the tip of your knife roll right down, just like that. This fish is actually delicious, especially when it's fresh like this. Maverick, are you good, bro? Are you thirsty, man, boy? I'm not in trouble. Are you thirsty? Yes. Oh, thank you. Me too. Me too. Okay. You know, a lot of people freeze fish, and I'm not against freezing fish, but mackerel is not good to freeze. It just doesn't stay nice. But fresh like this, it's extremely nice. We're gonna do some of it just like this. Watch, watch what I do here. So once you get all your mackerel cut into these beautiful little bite-sized pieces, put it in there. And we're gonna take some of this, it's Kikamon's teriyaki. You don't need to use a lot of this, just about, about that much. Then you'll take a lime, Cut it off so you don't get the seeds. Put that in there. How cute is she? But finally I can whistle again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of a damn you girl? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maverick says, whoa, what about me guys? What about me guys? We want to cut this into nice portion size like this and you can't cut right along the skin you have to cut above the skin or you'll cut through it like this that's perfect we're gonna put some black pepper on them and some salt check it out we got some sweet cream butter going in the pan let that start boiling down and we're gonna take some lemongrass put that in there this is some chunky garlic put that in there and let that start boiling down. Take our fish and just lay it right in there. All those flavors are gonna start coming together. That's all the fish that we rolled in the seasoned flour. Throw it right in the oil. they're not gonna be all golden brown. They'll just have little crispies of golden brown. That's perfect. Just like that. Anytime you fry fish, as soon as it comes out and it's still got hot, wet oil, take and sprinkle some salt on it. Mr. Mariano, who does not like fish, Michael, who does, Aria, who loves fish, and Mama, who has COVID tongue. Okay. These dogs. Maverick, we're trying to film a video, you knucklehead. Yeah. Mia. Sushi all the way. Yeah. I like that one. Did you like that? I love that. Oh, I love this one. I love it. I actually love 
Spanish mackerel now. Ooh. Real good, Rob. Yes, it's very good. It's, it's really awesome. Good. Yeah? I wish I could take each and every one of you fishing. You know, life is just so short sometimes and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and be a part of my life and a part of my channel and part of my family. But that's all we got for tonight, y'all. Okay, if you cool. if you catch a Spanish mackerel, Start. try the sashimi. But eat it any way you want, as long as you eat it fresh. Take care, God bless, and we are boys. Out. Out. It's actually gone.